Hey guys, it's me Gavin, and this will be a video on how to make an enemy that shoots at your player. Um, I will be using a little bit of Python, but I'm just going to get started. To start off, what we're going to do is double click everything until a um, until um, double click the A button until everything is selected, and hit the letter X and delete. Hit spacebar and then add a plane, and do S and let's say 15 right here. This will be used as our floor. I'm going to drag this in and click on the materials tab, and let's give this plane, um, let's call the color yellow. And let's make the floor yellow. I feel like that'll be a good color. Hit P and we can see it in the game engine. Alright, that looks well. Alright, let's now hit spacebar and then add a cube like this. Drag this cube up. I'm going to drag this in. And I'm going to hit this new button right here because we're going to add a new material to our player. And with, um, we can just make this, how about turquoise? That's a good, that's a good color for our player. Alright, to drag this panel in really quick. Let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender Render to Blender Game. Okay, now that we got this, I'm going to click on this um, the orange icon right here with our cube selected. I'm going to rename this cube to Player, like that. And I'm going to give our player, let's say, character physics like this. So if we hit P now, we can see our player is going to drop to the floor. Now, what we're going to do is actually our player is not going to really do anything for now. But what we're now going to do is add an enemy object by doing spacebar and then add um, enemy. Actually, not add enemy, add a cube. Okay? This cube object that we're going to have is also going to be character physics. So our, key, our enemy is going to have gravity like this. We'll name our enemy object as enemy. Now let's give the enemy object a material. And let's say this material is, how about red? That's a very generic enemy color. So that'll work. Okay. Now what we're going to do is have an always sensor. This will be used for our bullets. So I'm just going to rename this always sensor bullet. And let's do tap, or actually not tap. Let's set the frequency to, uh, how about six? And what we're going to do is add a Python controller to this and connect it like that and add an edit object actuator and I'll call this add bullets that'll be the name of our new actuator I'll put the time as let's say 30 like this and let's drag this and let's connect it like this alright so now that we've got our sensors and actuator set up let's actually create a bullets by going into our second layer like this and doing spacebar and then add a surface sphere I'm going to convert this sphere to a mesh by doing Alt and C and convert it to a mesh. Alright, I'm going to rename this as bullets like this. And on our bullet object, I'm actually going to make it a ghost for now. And let's do add sensor always. Click these first three dots. And let's do add actuator. And um, let's do motion. And let's do zero points on the y-axis, so positive 0 0.4 on the y-axis, and connect it like this. Might actually add just a simple material to our bullets. I'll click this, and let's make this bullet object, how about green? That'll work. Okay. So if we hit P to play now, we should see our bullets just going to move that way, like this. Let's go back into layer 1, and let's right-click on our cube. And right here on the add bullet, on the add object, let's put bullet right here. Alright, what we now want to do is have another always sensor on our enemy object. This time we're going to have the frequency be zero. And we want our enemy object to um, track to our player, so edit object actuator. Change it to track to, and let's put player right here. And we want it to move towards our player. So, let's also have a motion actuator since we want it to move towards our player. And let's have, name it, rename it to move and let's put 0 0.1 on the y axis. So, we should see, even if I drag this off to the side, our enemy object is still going to track to our player like this. What we want to do now is have it so that we activate the bullet whenever the player is close enough to um, our enemy. So, what we're going to do is do templates, python, and then game logic simple. Like this. Delete the portion that I've highlighted and hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. 
and rename this to gamescripts.py, like this. All right, once we have that, what we're gonna do is get our add bullet actuator inside of our um, script. So let's have add bullets and equal content actuators, add bullets. Okay, once we have that, what we're gonna do is actually get our player into our script. So let's do scene is gonna equal bg.logic, gets current scene like this. And underneath this, what we're gonna do is have player is gonna equal scene.objects player, because remember we renamed our, that, the turquoise object the player. What we're now gonna do is have player distance is gonna equal own.get distance2. And let's have um, player like this. What we now want to do is have if player distance is less than or equal to 15, we want to activate, so content activates, add bullets like this. Okay. Once we have that, I'm going to drag this down just a little bit. I'm going to drag our enemy object to this corner and hit 7 to go in the top view. We can see it's tracking towards our player, and it's adding a bunch of bullets when it gets close to our player. Um, I might actually change it up just a little bit. Let's have these bullets last for, let's say, three. Like that. They delete right away. What we're now going to do is if we hit play, we can still see it again, but the bullets will delete really fast, and you can barely see them, so I might just add a little bit more time to it. Let's say ten. That'll probably work. So now we can see the bullets are being added towards our player, and they kind of glitch out when they get close enough. All right, so that's how you add bullets to, um, that shoot towards your player. Um, I hope you guys found this useful.